guys, how are you doing you beautiful gorgeous people of the web and my Madonna fans, my match fans um, I am back once again with another reaction to the Queen, the ultimate Queen, the Goddess of Pop who has just released her remixes album, um, Madonna and some people asked me to do a reaction to the music video for Bedtime Story which I've not seen in years. I don't have a memory of it all the way through. I just remember it from like documentaries like um, where they always kind of show this clip and it's when she became a bit more experimental. Um, and obviously I, I'm aware that Bjork kind of wrote this song as well. So it had a lot of her experimentation in regards to that kind of very alternative experimental sound and if anyone could pull it off it was Madonna. And I think that's something I've always respected about is the fact that she's always been innovative and always taken risks and um, stay true to her art as well rather than chasing commercialism. Though that is questionable lately, but like she's always kind of remained ahead of the times in, in staying within what she wants to do. And I love that about her definition of a true artist. But here we go. Um, if you are new to my channel, guys, gosh. You've got so much to catch up on. So click on my playlist, click on Madonna, enjoy. If you have a hangover Sunday or something, tell you what, click on it. We'll have a laugh together. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for all your support. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you are new to my channel, guys, then please do subscribe below. Don't forget to give the video a like here. Um, for my long-term subscribers as well, I do have a PayPal link as well. Um, so if you do want to support my channel, then please, you know, feel free to donate. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, as always, for all your support, guys. Let's get into this. Oh, Sikone. No Sia was in this video. Look at that, a young Sia, 1995. Hold on. Where is she? There she is. See you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, but... um. I love this song because I know a lot of people kind of criticised Madonna um, or rather she got a lot of criticism in the 80s in regards to her vocals um, but I do think and I, I do feel this about Britney Spears as well because sometimes you don't have to have a diva like all big voice like I know I love that but um, I feel like Madonna's voice is very adaptable and it's used many genres of music and I feel she always pulls them off authentically so even when she did like Dick Tracy and she kind of did, kind of did the big kind of jazzy bluesy numbers like um, Hanky Panky and I Love Sooner or Later um, and um, songs like that she pulls it off there's something about where her voice is very adaptable to different various genres of music so obviously we've seen where she did the vocal kind of um, training from Evita which then kind of propelled a ray of light in that experimentation but even here before that like it suits this genre of music so well because it's so listenable and so kind of pleasant to listen to. <laughs>
This um, video came out in 1995 just says a lot about her art, her creativity, her inspiration. The video was such a trip. It's kind of like there's so much going on, there's little intricate details, it's so metaphoric. The, <laughs> the irony, I was going to say it's like a story in itself, so it kind of almost kind of is relevant to like the song title, Bedtime Story. Um, I just think the special effects in the music video are so, it's very kind of trance-like or it's very eye-capturing, it kind of really draws you in and makes you not want to take your eyes off it. Um, she looks stunning as well um, in this music video, in the various looks. Um, I love the production of the song as well, I think it sounds very expensive, I feel like it's almost like a almost like a peek into what Ray of Light would be after this. It's very kind of, it probably would have fit really well on that album to be fair. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love experimental Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> wow, um, an incredible, incredible music video. Madonna, 80s, 90s, even 2000s, yeah. In fact, Madonna, Madonna's whole discography, she's always been so interesting as a music video artist. Um, just to find my love of, I've already said this, it's probably my favourite music video of all time. Um, and... Um, I just think the song itself is very, definitely, definitely, uh, definitely you can hear the Bjork influence in, in how she's kind of been inspired by her and putting that into like a Madonna kind of stylistic choice to, to present that. Um, I love the music video, I love music videos that are really deep and complex and analytical and make you think or think, oh what does that mean or what does that represent or what's the meaning of this? And I feel like it's one of them that like, you could watch it again and notice something else. And I think the special effects, especially for like um, mid-90s, are absolutely extraordinary. She looks amazing. I like the song itself because I've got, I have such a varied taste in different genres of music. So I can appreciate the artistic choice. And I, I also respect the fact that it's not commercial at all, yet she still chose it to be a single. I don't think the song did that well on the Hot 100. I think it went to around the 70s, if I remember correctly. 
Um, I'm not sure if it was released in the UK or not, um, but incredible, absolutely incredible. That's just Madonna. How can you not respect an artist like that? Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. Um, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe below. Click on my playlist for more of my Madonna reactions. Don't forget to give the video a like it. If you would like to support my channel, guys, please check out my PayPal link below. Thank you for all your support, my loyal subscribers. I really, really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.